live exhibits at the International Crane Foundation outside of Baraboo, Wisconsin, include cranes from around the world, from Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, and North America. But one of the star attractions at the foundation is North America's whooping crane, a species that face near extinction. As particularly keeping the wings intact and the legs um, held down. Those legs are very strong. They can kick. They can bring down those talons on the end. Probing, probing, probing all the time. It's quite lovely to see them. A lot of people say, why don't they just walk on out of here? And then you see them walking like that. I think this story is very interesting. If you want to sit down, I know it's hard to pull yourself away after you've had your picture. Catch us. But nobody knew where they were nesting up in Canada until some aerial firefighters were flying over and they spied a nest and they were, aha, now we know this is their territory, this is where they're nesting. But what are we going to do about it? Well, one thing we know about uh, the cranes and a lot of them coming down, like they do that every night when they're practice and they know that the next day off the Those road. eggs and uh, raising them here. And now from here we're doing a second program that took uh, up and another non-migratory non flock in Louisiana. So we it's, very, it's been slow. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And then the other thing that happens, I don't know if you've seen in the news, in the last few years, it seems like there have been woofers that have been shot. Um, go figure. Any other questions? Oh, increase. But it's a positive one. You another question? I can remember in the early 60s when I was collecting stamps. Well, we are raising the chicks and